Hey guys, JR Fisher here, and I want to welcome you to this video. This is really cool because you are going to learn how to build a website in 28 minutes with no technical skill and zero experience. And when you get to the end of this, you're going to say, you're right, JR, that was easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, at the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to build this website. So you just have to follow through all the steps and you'll be fine. You don't need the experience. Uh, matter of fact, after today, you've got experience. You can build all the websites you want. Now, whether you're already interested in building a site or you're kind of on the fence about doing this, this tutorial is for everybody at every level. It's really super easy and it's simple to follow. Okay, so you're going to know in what order to do these steps also because that's also very, very important in doing this quickly. So everyone really needs a website nowadays, right? I mean, websites are extremely versatile. You can do a blog if you wanted. Um, it could be about fashion or travel or business or whatever you want. Matter of fact, you can use it for personal branding, um, something that has your resume, maybe your portfolio of work on it. Um, you could even create an online business. I have a bunch of online businesses in e-commerce. You could sell products. You could sell services. Um, websites are really so simple and so inexpensive now that you really can't afford not to have one. So this, this video is for everybody because everybody needs a website. So how are we going to do this website? Well, we're going to use something called WordPress, which you may have heard about. It's one of the largest platforms in the world to build a website on. And it's super easy to do, so don't worry about that. WordPress is really just a content management system or a CMS. So WordPress allows you to create and customize a website with different styles and themes that are all pre-built for you. All you got to do is just add your personal content to it. You can add all types of plugins that are tools to help you customize your site so you never ever have to touch a line of code. You don't have to know how to do that stuff. It actually allows you to make changes to your websites simple and actually it's kind of fun. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. It's only three things. The first thing you're going to need is a domain URL. Now, quite simply put, all that is is the name of your website. For example, my website is jrfisher.com. That's the domain name. Now, these things are incredibly cheap. Uh, they're usually paid for yearly, and they're going to run you about 10 bucks a year, so not a big amount of money. The next thing you're going to need is web hosting. Now, you pay a company to use their servers, okay, to keep your website up on the internet. Now, this is going to run you about eh, maybe four to eight dollars a month and that's also paid annually now you want to use wordpress.org because it's free uh, wordpress.org versus wordpress.com um, org offers you the open source that allows you to customize your website with ease now the dot com is kind of like a, a light version and it has really limited functionality so you only need these three things uh, it used to be more difficult because you would have to get all of these items together and uh, kind of patch them together and get them separately but now you can do it in one place all you have to do is sign up for web hosting which I'll put a link in the bottom there and all you have to do is click on it and once you have your web hosting it'll lead you through the path of all the rest of the things you need so that you can follow along what I want you to do is click the link below and it's going to take you to my website and it has all these steps and all you got to do is check them off as you go so it doesn't get any easier than that now we're going to get into the easy step-by-step -step process and you'll have a website in no time if you need any help I do want to remind you with any of these steps just feel free to comment below with any questions and I'll respond back to you and we'll get you going so let's take a look at our first step now okay so here I am at bluehost.com and as you go across the top here you're gonna see a lot of different options what you want to do first off if you haven't picked a domain name you want to go over hosting here and go all the way down to domains and then you want to put in whatever you want and it will let you know if it's available like build a whoops build a website now I'm figuring this one here will be taken so let's search and when we search it's going to give me a result it says the domain build a website is not available for registration okay so we would have to go back and put in another one now i've got one i've already searched and it is make a website zone and i'm going to search it right here and it's going to tell me that it's available because i've already checked this and it's going to ask me to create an account now we can either start right here and create an account 
or we can go back and on the main website itself if you already know the domain you want and you've already checked it you can click get started now now when it's on get started now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to select your plan okay so the basic plan is this one here which is three dollars and 95 cents a month or you could go up to 595 a month or you could go to this one right here so let's take a look at all the plans let's pick the cheapest plan we'll check this pick this one right here and then i'm going to go ahead and put my domain in now if you click the link i gave you it's going to get my domain for free okay and that's really cool so i'm going to type in that domain and click next if you already have a domain you'll put it here and switch it over but we, we don't have this one so i put in all my information right here now when you get to down here you're going to have to pick your basic package whatever you want the cheapest one is five dollars and 95 cents a month that's a 12 month price if you go 24 a month it's 495 36 month is 395 so i'm just going to pick the cheapest one right here and it's going to give me my primary domain registration for free if you click that link i gave you now down here all of these extra things you really don't need with the exception of domain privacy protection now what domain privacy protection does is that if somebody tries to look up the owner of a website and get all their information it will block it so they can't see that so I'm gonna leave that on here and I'm gonna get rid of these other things here and that's gonna bring my total up to 8328 I'm gonna put in my card number you do have to check this box right here where it says I agree to the terms and click submit now once it has processed it'll say congratulation welcome to Bluehost here are a few special offers for you okay so we don't want any more special offers we're gonna say no thanks and then it's gonna ask me to choose a password for my account so right now I'm gonna create new password I'll type that in You have to click right here that you agree to their privacy policy in terms of service which I have now done and I've successfully created a new password so now I can just log in now I could pick a theme right now if I wanted to and I can always change it later so let's just scroll through and see what we've got here um, what do I want I'm gonna go with this one here this looks kind of cool now you don't have to do that if you want you can go down here to skip this step right now but I'm just gonna go ahead and select one to show you how it's done now it says it's setting up WordPress for me that's what I really like about this is all of this is automated you don't have to do a thing and this can take a few minutes okay and it's installed it's really that simple then I can click on start building right here and boom I'm right inside my dashboard now with all of my tools we can pick what we want here and I'm gonna pick that this is a business site okay and when I launch the site this is the site title site description I may say learn how to build WordPress sites with ease okay the perfect site to learn how to build WordPress sites and then I'll click next step and it says here let's launch learn to build WordPress sites with ease are you going to update your site with news or blog posts and I'll say yes okay and right here it says uh, what would visitors like to see on the home page I'm gonna go with uh, this one right here a static welcome page and let's see here build a starter contact page sure why not okay um, connect your jetpack profile I don't want to do that at this time so I'm gonna say no
And I could add my business address right here, which I have it pre-populated. Uh, and then I'm going to go to next step. Are you looking to sell online? If I want to sell products online, I would install WooCommerce. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this just so I have it. And you may want to do that too, because just because you have um, something installed does not mean you necessarily need to use it. Okay. So now what I've done here is I've installed the entire website. And if I want to um, edit my title and description, I would do it here. My homepage layout here, my welcome page here, my contact us page right here. Uh, let's see what else. I could edit my business address here and I could uh, install WooCommerce here if I wanted to do that. So here's where I would go to customize my site. And there it is. There's my site all set up and ready to go. Okay, so when you click on dashboard over here, this is where I want you to go. You can scroll through here and what WordPress has done here is they're going to start suggesting different plugins and plugins are things that do a particular task for you on your website. So the first one here is trying to get you to get uh, constant contact for free and I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want that email provider uh, and that way I don't keep seeing that particular one. Uh, this is a good one here. Uh, please configure your Google Analytics setting. You do want to do that, get all that set up. And uh, let's just scroll through here real quick. Uh, this down here is how you customize your site. And I want to go through all of these items on the menu side right here too. But right down here, it has a, a program called Jetpack if you want it. And you could uh, set up Jetpack here. Uh, right down here, it's offering me Optin Monster, which is a little... Uh, pop-up that uh, grabs people's email addresses and integrates those with my email provider which I do not have integrated yet and you can just scroll down and see all that but let's go through each one of these things here here's your Bluehost tab so if you need to get to Bluehost for any reason you go there this is the Jetpack one which they've automatically installed now sometimes people get confused because there's several things on a website now the first one is going to be post a post would be anything that you would put in a blog so that on the home page if you put a new post in the way this is set up now is it will automatically appear on the home page okay so you could look at all posts and we'll click on that real quick and right now we don't have a lot of posts we got one that says hello world that's it so we could take that particular one we could click on it and we could actually change it to the best uh, website building site we can do that if we want it now if you notice right here um, I can click update right here so let me click update and I'll just do that now that I've clicked update I can click right here and view post and update is going to publish this for me so I could click right here and click view post and it says the best website building site posted July 2nd and it tells me when it was particularly posted okay so let's go back here real quick and that's how you do your post and you can add new and you can have categories you can tag them you can do all kinds of different stuff to them okay so here's the tags that you would add so if somebody was actually searching for a post and I put uh, website and here and I click that is a tag and I put WordPress okay and I put that as a tag people could now use these tags here to search that particular post within my website and find it and uh, this is your title which you can change of course this is the body of your actual message here and let's go and look at this real quick and actually see it I'm gonna click my update button And as soon as I do that, it's going to have a post updated and I can click view post and it says the website, the best website building site. Now I want to go back and just make a change so you guys can see what it looks like on the actual site itself. This says welcome to WordPress. This is your first post to delete it, start writing. So I'm going to put check out this cool picture. Okay. Whoops. A little error there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a picture in here. So I'm going to click Add Media. Now this is your media gallery right here. And if I click here 
it's going to show me all my files, which I have none. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is select a file and upload it. So I pick a file and once I pick that file, it's going to automatically check it. You want to put in here your title of it and your alt text and all that good stuff. But I'm going to insert into post. So that picture is now in there. Now, when I hit update, let's click update. It's going to give me a post update right here and I can click view post and I can see what I got. The best website building site. And there's that picture right there. So it's that easy, not hard at all for you to do. Now, the next thing we want to look at is, and of course, we went through media here. This is where you would add new media. You don't have to go through here. You can go here and add it. Next one is pages. What a page is, is a page is a full page on a site. It's not just an update. It's not just a post. So I'm going to click on all pages and see what we have right now. We just have this one sample page here. So if we wanted to add another page, we would go up here to the top and click add new. And we are going to put WordPress page. And then I would put whatever I want here. Learn how to do WordPress. And I think I want to put a picture right here about WordPress. Okay, so I've got a picture I want to put in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Add Media. And I'm going to upload a file. And I'm going to find that picture of WordPress that I have is right here. I'm going to open it. It will populate a picture of it here. I'll click insert so we see it right here. So there's the picture. And if you want to do any editing, you can edit right here. Uh, if you want to change the size of it, so you know if you want to make it bigger or smaller, I'm going to make it just a little bit smaller. If I wanted to put a link into it, I would click right here and I would do a custom URL. And let's put my website in here. And I would update and then I would update again then I would go ahead and view page now if you look at this when I hover over it see it's got a little hand there if I click on it it's going to take me to my website pretty cool stuff so I could do that let me go back to my page here and work on it so that's your pages area now, if you have comments on your post, you would find them here. And then the, it has a plugin right here it's uh, trying to tell you about. But let's, let's talk about plugins for just a second. Down here, it says plugins, okay? And the first thing I want to do is see what I have for installed plugins. So I'm going to click on that. Now, WordPress is going to give you some plugins right off the bat. So it's giving you this one. It's giving you Bluehost, obviously. We hosted through them. Uh, and you could deactivate any of these things if you wanted to also. Uh, and it's giving you all these other ones down here. The one that I think that you really ought to have is the one for your SEO. Because if you go to a page right now, let's look at um, all pages. And you do want to SEO your pages. So let's pick this one here. And we'll edit it. As you see, there's really nothing down here, nothing we can really work on to make this page SEO friendly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to plugins and I'm going to add a new plugin. And this one particular one I like, it has to do with SEO and it's called SEO Ultimate. And I'm going to search that. Let's scroll down. It's right here. It's this, this particular one. Uh, it says there's uh, over 100,000 active installations, so a lot of people have been using this. And it's also free. Now, some of your plugins are going to cost you money, and some are going to be free. But I'm going to go ahead and install this one right now. Okay, so it's now installed, and I can now activate it. So I've installed it and activated it. So now, when I go down here, you'll see SEO Ultimate and it is installed. Now what does that do for me? Well, let's go back to pages here. We're going to go to all pages and I want to go to that WordPress page I built. Now check this out. Look at this guys. You can now put your title tag in here and your meta description. Now this title tag is what you see when you go into search results. So if I were to go to Google, can I type in how to build a website like this? 
what happens is it brings back all these ads and we can tell these are ads because they say ad but then it brings back results down here okay so like this one here this is the title tag and this is the description now if you notice these dots right here what that means is they've made this too long and it won't fit okay um, this particular one they've got a title here and they've got a description and it does fit and any of these ones with the little dots here that people put too many words it doesn't do you any good because what happens is Google's just gonna cut it off so if I look at this particular one here and it says how to make a website in 2018 a free sample guide for beginners okay um, this particular one they figured out how many letters to put in here now if you don't know the cool thing is when we go back right here the title tag is I'm gonna put uh, how to make a website okay and that is 65 characters and I, I would put a description down here on how to really sell this search results so I may put easy uh, to use tips on how to make a website you'll now notice as I type this is changing right here see that it's letting me know how many characters I got left now up here I've used 65 of 70 you'll love our tips and secrets to building websites they are simple and easy so I've got 122 um, I may just put a little something else in here whoops click now to get oh too many letters see how it went up to 140 click now to go I'm gonna say go all right I got 139 so this helps you out so much and then I go over here and I click update which I'm gonna do and now what I can do is view the page now when I view this page um, this is the page here that I just now SEO'd okay if you hit control and right click and I go down to view page source right here it's gonna tell me the background of this page is pretty cool and you could do this with any page and learn and don't let this scare you all this stuff on the screen here but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit control F right here and I'm gonna look for the title and if I look for the title right here it's going to give me let's see what we've got here how to build a WordPress website see I just type that in simple steps to build a website pretty cool stuff so this is what it's going to bring back on these Google search results like this right here it's going to bring that back to them so let's go back over here again and the next thing I want to ch uh, check is my description so I'm going to hit control find description and now it's saying here's the description easy to use tips on how to make a website uh, you'll love our tips and secrets well that's exactly what I typed in isn't it okay so you can see how that works on this page here so when I go back and I go back to that page and I scroll down to my SEO part there it is that's exactly what I typed in and here's the results of it right here okay click now to go there it is pretty cool stuff so it makes it really easy and you can use that particular plugin to work on your website and that particular one's free and if you go to plugins right here we can go to install we can go to add new and pretty much any subject that you type in here you're going to find a plugin for it so if I put email in here and I search it's going to show me a bunch of different email plugins that I could use there's MailChimp for WordPress uh, there's ninja forms there's I'm just it goes on and on and on and on or if you have a particular one so let's say you have let's say uh, Infusionsoft that should pull it up there it is there's form lift for Infusionsoft here there's contact form 7 Infusionsoft let me type in the rest of this and just see what we get now not all plugins are free this is Infusionsoft landing pages if I want to do that some of them you have to pay for some of them are free it just depends on what it does but that gives you an idea of the plugins and anytime you want to look at your plugins you just click here and looked at the installed plugins right here and it'll show you see I've got all these down here there's that SEO ultimate I just added 
and it's really simple and easy to do. Okay, so we've built a few pages in here, but we want to have a way for our visitors to get around our site. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to Appearance. We're going to go down to where it says Menus. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to add a navigation bar. So let me put that in here. I'll put Navigation. Now, as you see, what it's done to this menu structure here is it's added all these pages right here, which are identical to these pages over here. So if you click on one of these and add to menu, you're going to end up with, let's do it real quick, sample page on here twice. So we don't want that. So what we want to do is get rid of this. And I'm just telling you because a lot of people will go over here and click all these boxes and then end up with a menu and they're like, why are they in there twice? That's why they're in there twice. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume we like all these if there's one you don't want in here, let's say we don't want sample page in here. We'll remove it. So we've got a WordPress page, a contact us, and about us that we built. And we're going to just going to click on create menu. Okay, once we've clicked on create menu, we click right here and we go primary menu. This is real important or it won't show up. A lot of times people will make this menu and they can't figure out why it doesn't show up. That's why. So I'm going to save the menu. Now that's now our primary menu. So let's check it out. We'll go to our pages. And we'll just pick any page just to see if it showed up on there about us. And then we'll go to that URL. And then there it is, home, about us, contact us, WordPress page. So if we click on one of these now, it's going to take us to those pages. So it's really that easy. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, guys, so that is pretty much an overview of how to set up your WordPress website. It's simple. It's easy. Anybody can do it. But if you have questions, please leave comments below. I'll be happy to help you out. I have a lot of courses in e-commerce and Facebook ads and Shopify, and I'll be happy to help you in any of those areas. Just leave comments below, and I'll also leave some links below that you can get additional information. So that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.